Yes, you've got the side-by-side -side comparison between these two, Max versus Lewis. Heading down the main straight, just going to stop it first of all at the 50-metre board, or try to, because Lewis just about gets there before Max. You can see just yet past it. In the corner itself, Max runs a little bit wide, but I think that's actually the better line because it's got more camber there. And he gains time on the exit, just running up to the kerb, and he's actually ahead now of the Mercedes driver. Through turn three, just slow it down for you. Just look at the lines here, the differences. There's this white line. Just keep a check on that to see where both drivers are placing the car. When Lewis gets there, pretty much even, albeit Max slightly ahead. And on the exit of this very critical corner, I'll just roll it back a little bit because there's a black line that I'm, I'm trying to focus in on here just to see the difference once again compared to Lewis. Lewis cutting in earlier than Max, and Max getting a better run out of that corner and gaining even more time. Fascinating corner. Been studying it all week long, and, uh, yeah, consistently, Max has been the best on through there. Through turn seven, both cars looking pretty evenly matched in the higher speed, as you would expect. But to slow it down into turn nine, watch out for Lewis's onboard. He gets a snap of oversteer just at the apex. There we go. And I think that cost him a little bit of time as well. The rear end looking slightly better at this stage in the lap on the Red Bull and on the exit. Once again, Lewis is fighting the wheel that little bit extra. That DRS zone runs you down into the chicane. And I think here, though, Lewis gains a bit more time back. I can't see any mistakes from Max here. But on the exit of the corner, he's actually, it looks like to me, Lewis just gains a little bit extra time back there. I think he's closed that gap slightly. And once again, in the penultimate corner, I think the Mercedes is working quite well there. Max runs a little bit wide onto that, uh, on, close to the gravel. But if I stop it here on that line, the DRS line, uh, it's four frames it takes Lewis to get there. That's one and a half tenths of lap time difference. Max didn't have the DRS open, and we can see that here on this offboard shot as he goes through that final corner. Look to the slot gap. It barely opens on the Red Bull there, and that's where the time was getting lost. Uh, as a comparison, this offboard out of turn 10, wide open. So just as a, a demonstration there, and I think, yeah, in reality, it would have been one and a half tenths, but uh, a really beautiful lap driven by both drivers. Such a hard circuit. This show isn't over yet.